Okay, always strive to finish high on your backhand. Many times players that are too wristy or have too much movement with their forearm, it's a good idea to have a checkpoint of a high finish. When you have that checkpoint of a high finish, there's less of a chance that you're going to be moving your wrist and forearm around. You'll tend to swing more from the shoulder. I like to think of the finish as creating the archway. If you notice my racket there, my arm and racket have created half of an archway. That's what I want you to think about on the finish. This is the checkpoint. So when you're practicing, just keep finishing there. That's your finish. And remember too, you're bending and lifting. If your legs haven't straightened out, see how my legs are straightened out, then I know that I've lifted. If you finish like this, you're not lifting with your legs. You want to come back up and create the archway. Straight legs create the archway. Many times you'll hear players say, hey, I played three sets of tennis today and I gained two pounds. But that's because they're playing like this and they're not bending and they're not moving. If you're bending and lifting, you're going to be in great shape. Okay, on the finish, you want to strive to finish high. Many times players that have uh, problems with too much forearm and wrist play during their swing, if they just concentrate on finishing high, it prevents that forearm and wrist from moving around. Now on the finish, I like, to th I like to think of create the archway. Watch what I mean. If you notice here, my arm and racket have created half of an archway. That's the idea on the finish. So if you have that as a checkpoint, that's where I'm going to finish. It'll prevent the arm from moving around during your swing. So just strive to finish high and create the archway. So remember, you want to use your legs to lift and create that archway. I'm going to practice a few right now. Notice the legs lifting and the arm and racket create the archway on the finish.